Welcome to CCIEorDie.com. I'm Artek, and this is Switch 31151 5D Ether Channel Misconfiguration Guard. Ether Channel Misconfiguration Guard is enabled by default and does what it says it does. It helps prevent misconfiguration of Ether Channels. We know that the interfaces we bundle into a channel need to have matching configurations or they won't be suitable for the Ether Channel. But often enough, they are mistakenly put together in a hurry without verifying both sides' interfaces first. Ether Channel Misconfiguration Guard will place the channel in error disable state and issues an error message if it detects a possible misconfiguration. I'm not at all certain why this got its own line item on the blueprint, but it did. And they didn't ask me to write the blueprint, so there you have it. I would have thought included would be SNMP, syslog, those, but anyway. Now a word about viral design mode. When I'm setting up my labs, uh, and most of the labs I do set up, I set up this way. I don't want to be bothered with the management interface. I also want infrastructure only because I don't want auto net kit doing any of the work. And I naturally want to use CDP. So if you look here, notice enable CDP for the topology is true and infrastructure only is true. Meaning I don't want auto net kit to do any configuration of the switches. And you notice I also highlight the switches and I make sure auto generate is not is not configured because I need to auto generate for the PCs or the Linux servers as they're called. And so I highlight that and make sure that I have that box checked. And if I go back to the topology, I also turn off uh, the LXC management node. You'll need that for other reasons, but not for configurations that you you want to build and that you that you want to build from scratch. So anyway, we'll go into simulation mode and we'll take a look at we'll take a look at the misconfiguration guard. If we do show span sum and include ether or ether channel, you'll see it's currently enabled. It's enabled by default. You should really leave it that way. We can disable it by no span ether channel guard misconfiguration and do show span sum include ether with a capital E and now it's disabled so we want to re-enable it span ether channel guard misconfiguration and we'll double check it one last time do show span sum summary include ether and it's back by default if you do break the ether channel by purposely misconfiguring or not to practice you can re-enable the channel with the the shut no shut command or by adjusting the error disable recovery time interval that's all I have with this video segment on uh, Ether Channel uh, Misconfiguration Guard. Thanks for watching.